guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl Raina Jenks here I am back and uh, I am here with a little bit of an interesting video yeah so my hair is blown out as you can see and um, guys I'm pretty like excited because it's a little long you know you know <laughs> I haven't blow dried my hair in six months so basically yeah about six months since December and the last time I blow dried my hair, I did a trim on it. So that's why I blow dried it. Ever since then, I've been really, really good. I've been staying away from the heat. I don't think, yeah, I have not touched heat since December, which I am very proud of because I do like my heat. <laughs> I'm trying to grow out my heat damage. It has literally made it so hard for me to do a lot of hairstyles that I like to do like my braid outs and my twist outs they're not the same with the damaged ends the straight ends um, I have to put curlers on my ends which is something that I didn't have to do prior to heat damage but I have to add the curlers to the ends so that I can finish off the curl and it doesn't I don't have those strands sticking out um, when I do those types of styles if you have heat damage, you know exactly what I'm talking about It's so annoying to deal with but I mean if you don't want to big chop again It is something that you do have to work with and deal with and that's what I've been doing um, For a while now because I've had heat damage for quite a while um, I don't know if you yeah, you can kind of see it when I like spread my hair out. See the parts where it thins out a little bit more? Like a lot of my hair looks more dense um, towards the top. But right about here is when it starts to thin out. That is where my heat damage pretty much is at this point. And slowly but surely it's been growing out. I have, <laughs> have not been taking the best care of my hair. I would put it up in a bun for a week, not touch it, not really add much more moisture to my hair. Um, just kind of pile on the gel and you know, <laughs> it's so bad and I really need to start taking better care of my hair because I would have probably more growth or I should say it would be longer because I would re retain my ends better and I just having a full-time job and the schedule that I work is weird so it's hard I have to force myself to do things and that's why my hair is blow dried so that I can get rid of <laughs> these dead ends that are holding me back they are you know keeping me from being great okay guys <laughs> Not only do I plan on chopping off these dead ends like a normal trim, I actually want to give myself a shape. So I'm actually kind of doing more of a cut. <laughs> I really only want to take off about an inch at the most. Um, maybe two. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell definitely. I have no shape. It's all one length and I kind of want to just give myself some layers like I kind of want the back to come towards like a you know sort of like a V have more volume on top so the top of my hair will be a uh, you know slightly shorter you know a little bit layered um, I'm just going to take my time and concentrate on what I'm doing but I'm going to film it for you guys so that you guys can see how I do it and I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already like this video and yeah stay tuned guys so I'm starting out by separating the bottom section of hair and I'm going to run that through with the comb as you can see those uh, sparse ends there I'm going to go ahead and trim that off you know that this song is about you, boy. Even when you're now I'm just taking the other side of my back section and measuring it up to 
uh, the part that I already cut so that I can get an even cut all the way around and then I'll trim that off as well. Here is when I realized I wanted more of a cut than a trim so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing but just cut about an inch more off of what I already trimmed off. And I'm just going to measure with my scissors the same length so I can get the same length on the other side. And we're done with our first section. Now I separated out another section and what I'm going to do here is just trim just slightly above where I trimmed that bottom section so that I can get a more layered effect. And I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side. And your birthday, shame on me. Hey, heard I never really loved you anyway. Wow, that's what your girls say. Hey, I don't want none of this drama from you. Now that I'm moving more towards the top of the head, I'm going to still measure um, the new section with the bottom section, but I'm going to do a vertical cut here. And that's also how you get a layered effect. And I'm going to continue to do that all the way around my head. Around towards the top, I started cutting off more like two and a half to three inches. So I was getting a little scared, but I liked the results as you can tell. And I continued this for the rest of my hair. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm done. As you can see, I am in love. Like, I don't know, like I can't believe I was able to do this on my own. I was really scared. Like especially when I got towards like this section, towards the back, I started, or like the upper back section, I started getting nervous because I can't really see back there. Obviously, the ideal situation is for you to have like a nice big mirror in front and a good size mirror in back so you can see what you're doing in the back, but I did the best I can, um, but I think it actually turned out pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's not like, on a professional level, it's probably not, you know, amazing, but I think I did <laughs> an amazing job to do it myself. Um, I'm pretty sure I have like straggly, um, little straggles here and there. Like I might cut, cut this one a little bit, I don't know. Um, but I feel like even though like, you know, my thinner side, it doesn't look like it's so much of a difference compared to my regular density thick side. Um, so that makes a difference, um, and I really, I really can't wait to do a braid out on this because it's going to be nice and layered and, you know, I'm going to have the effect, the shape that I want. Um, I feel like this flatters my face very well. I actually ended up cutting more hair than anticipated. Um... <laughs> back at shoulder length pretty much but to me it's not about the length especially since I wear my hair curly 90% of the time pretty much a hundred percent of the time um, if it's not in a bun like it's out um, so since I'm not too concerned about length so much I felt like I really needed a shape that will you know sort of frame my face and allow more movement as well with my hair and um just more what's the word dimension is the word i'm looking for it adds more dimension to the hair instead of having just one long um you know just of the same length all of your hair the same length it doesn't look good when the hair is curly so i just felt the need to you know chop off 
some bad ends and at the same time give myself you know a nice little shape and I think I think I did a good job I'm gonna turn around for you guys if you think I did a good job then you can definitely use the same methods that I use to achieve this style so I should have more videos on the way so make sure you subscribe down below and click that notifications button too so you know when I do come out with a new video and like this video if you enjoyed and liked the results <laughs> that I was able to achieve and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching Bye. Bye.